Welcome to Nearly Competent, a YouTube channel where I realize I know nothing about games. On this special Spooktober episode, I team up with Blitzgirl, and we double team Mana Madan. I mean, like we both play, and like we don't double team the Mana Madan. Never mind, we play a game and it's super fun. Enjoy. Good evening, everybody. And welcome to Spooktober, Man of Medan, with special guest, Blitzgirl, 89 apparently. I think that's your birthday. In which case, my god, you're young. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can hear, I don't actually don't know if you can. I should te check this. You should start talking. Alright. Hopefully you guys can hear, I don't actually know if you can. I should check this. You need to start talking. <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking. Oh, there it is. Yes. I can hear you. Cool. We are good. Okay. Well, that was some good random testing. Now I will never interact with anyone watching my stream again. Because now I have someone to talk to. I'm ready to go. This is sweet. Yeah, and I have my laptop next to me so I can see the chat room. Just in case anyone joins. Yeah, because you have your chat room going, right? Because you're streaming on your Twitch. Yes. What's your Twitch channel called? Blitzgirl117. Whoa! Yeah, and I just did like a quick post on Twitter and Facebook about an hour ago, so people join, then great. If not, big deal. This is going to be sweet. I'm looking forward to All this. All right. Ready to end story. I have only had to deal with the Chinese market and a bit of the next part. Yeah, I saw. And then your daughter came, which is great, but you know. She was supposed to text. <laughs> she was supposed to text. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm good to go. All right, have to. Oh. <laughs> I get to decide if I want to start as Joe or start as Charlie. What? You get to play as... I want to start as Charlie. You get to choose if you play as Charlie or Joe? Yeah. What? So you'll be the other one. Oh, yeah, because this is... We play the same... Ah. We play the same start or part, but as different people, right? Yes. Yeah. So it's not like when I played with Dave where it was like... Yeah, you did the move being night method where you hand off the controller. Yeah. That's what Until Dawn has. Well, oh, did they have that feature or was it more when you switch characters, yeah. hand the controller over? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it has a movie night mode too. Oh. I don't know because it is a single player game, so nice. that's the only way. This one, all, yeah, this one has those two different ways. Hey, yeah, you got your rum and coke? Yes. I have Corona. Are you in my house? How did you know I was drinking rum and coke? I heard the jingle of the ice. Oh, my mic is cranked then. <laughs> Oh, hey, my friend Nick is in my chat. Oh. Third first gang, what up? I don't have anyone in my chat. Hi, Nick. You should dual stream or dual screen. Or just stay at Blitz Girls. That's fine. <sighs> this story kicks off, right? Because I did this part and I was not impressed. It's all like setting the mood. Okay. Cause yeah, I was I was not impressed with what I had. I have seen people do multiplayer, and they've become way more variables. Oh, okay, cool. Single player is like restricted to very, you know, because you're only one character, so hard to explain. But you know what I mean. Oh yeah, the lady that I didn't think was real at first. I thought she was a mannequin. Hey, Nick, can you hear Brent's on stream? My lighting is too... 
Too bright, but not bright enough. There we go. I should do. All right, I get to do the fighting. You'll do the fortune bet. Oh, I have to do the fortune bet. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Nick says hi, Brent. Hello, Nick. <laughs> He's my friend from college. I never went to college. Is that why I don't have friends? I fixed my life. I'm choosing all the options I didn't choose the last time I played this. Oh, pick it up. Pick it up. Fuck. Uh, I did it too quick. I'm gonna bug you. <laughs> I was in the middle of a fortune blitz, girl. Yeah, punch him. You get to try, Mr. Punch him up. Oh, yeah, I'm lending you money. Does that mean I get to punch you in the face? Oh, are we switching? Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh. Troubled will the voyage go smoothly or hopeful will Joe return us two quarters? <laughs> two quarters. Quarters. You gotta get them two quarters back. Yeah, I need those quarters so I can walk my dog in the park. I need the quarters so I can buy some lobster chowder. 50 cents was a big deal in the 1940s. <laughs> it was. Now I have a view. Oh, shit! I looked at my screen and I lost the punch. Fuck! <laughs> I don't know who just joined my chat, but god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> now I look like a fool. Explain yourself, random person. Are you interrupted by Fortune 2? It's only fair. Really? Yep. Hmm. I picked a water tile, and then it was a flower. Ah. And you're like, oh, we need to get to the ship. <laughs> it's my friend, Sean. Who I've known since grade seven. So suck on that, Blitz girl. I see your college friend, and I raise you junior high. I guess in the 40s they didn't understand that any box with a skull on it should probably be left alone. Yeah, I mean, remember Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark? You're referencing a movie that came out in the 80s, but took place in the 40s. Place in the 40s, yeah. <laughs> Plus, did it have a skull on it? I thought it just had the Nazi symbol. I mean, same thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> You think this guy saw that and just went, Are we the baddies? <laughs> yeah, where's my 50 cents? Yeah, where's my 50 cents, Joe? No. <laughs> you still get punched. No, you're, you're the guy who got punched. No, I'm Charlie. Yeah, Charlie gets punched. Joe? It's what? Yeah, clinically speaking, they jump up the rear ends. <laughs> I just love how gung ho the sergeant is. I think he's possessed. I think they all became possessed when they entered that boat. Because there's no reason. They all have sticks up their asses. They do. They. The. I. Zero tolerance policy for alcohol. I couldn't understand the mocap. Like, the mocap in Until Dawn seemed good. This part mocap, not good. I don't remember lightning hitting the boxes. Was I not paying attention the first time? I don't think you're paying attention. Oh. We had Dave with you. <laughs> and, and we had just come back from the pub, so we were probably really drunk. <laughs> Yeah, your, your guys' attention span was like... We were pretty... Li we were, um... 
We could have used some sort of medication. Oh, yeah, see, now I'm Charlie waking up. That's Joe. Yeah, see? You're seeing his point of view. Oh! Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting you're playing someone else. I'm like, no, this is you. So we'll be seeing two very different things. That is what I'm experiencing right now. Yep, there it says, so my bane is Joe. In the top right corner. Oh. Say that I'm Charlie. Okay, I'm in the cell. Oh, it might say that, but what I see is me. I'm in the top right corner. Because I have a camera. And when you stream on PlayStation, the camera's also on the TV, which is super annoying. Huh. Oh, no. That blood spider looks like a bat. Should I change it to the top left? If I pause, does it pause you? Yeah. Oh, okay, give me a second. Okay. Thank you. I don't know why it was so goddamn important that I moved to the top left. Ooh. This looks important. I have a gun now. Aw, oh, Sean, you're a dick. So are you just stuck in that cell until I show up? Yeah, the door's locked. Well, I guess you owe me an apology for the 50 cents. Uh, this way? Oh, that's the door. I guess this way. Yeah, he walks like he has a giant stick up his ass. He's military. I don't know what that voice was. That was a great voice, though. Oh, you know. <laughs> I saw a dead body. What did you see? A blood splatter. Looks like a bat. It looks like a bat? I don't know. Was the Rorschach to test? And. It's a Rorschach test, and so are you controlling Charlie right now? Yep. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, that's. Oh, I, I will say, I do love this mechanic. I, I got the one part I got a character killed on second day was because I failed one of these because it was really fast. It's just your heartbeat. Don't you mess this up. Now watch, I'm gonna mess it up. I doubt he'd shoot us. He'd probably just freak out. Cause he's seen shit. We're all seeing shit. We nailed it! Our heartbeats are as one. Alright, simmer down. Alright, there was nothing to the right. Just a locked door. Did you just push me? <laughs> you have more manly shoulders than I do. My guy... That's weird. When you push up against me, my guy moves on his own. It's very intuitive, so I can't dick with you. I <laughs> ah, small child! I forgot about that. Oh, and I didn't see it. The hallway is empty. You didn't see a small child? No. Nope. Fuck! <laughs> but yeah, some people were complaining about the controls, but honestly, it feels about the same as Until Dawn. I hey, didn't have any issues. Hey, Charlie, that door's locked. Can you open it? Open that door, Charlie. Fuck, Charlie.
Charlie. You had one job to do in this boat. You were the door person. Alright, you want to do the honors? Yeah, I'll do this door. I'm just kidding, Charlie. Okay, you're on. You're on door duty. Yeah. I don't know what foobar means. Is that a normal thing? It's fucked up beyond all recognition. How do you know that? It was used during that period. Oh. I was interested in World War Two. They also say it in Saving Private Ryan. Never seen that movie. I mean, you know, it's overrated, but it is a good What'd you movie. say? It's overrated? Get back here. What'd you say? Should we make out now? <laughs> <laughs> Troy, I think I love you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Rude! <laughs> Walked away. <laughs> You're the one with the manly biceps. That guy lo still looks like Ross from Friends. Let me examine him now. Yeah, let's, let's see if you notice anything about him. You gotta examine him. Oh, I see you examining him. He says nothing. Hey, he looks like he is playing a fiddle or banjo. <laughs> ba -na 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 -na. <laughs> Rest in peace. Oh, yeah, this part, because I... I didn't know whose feet that was, and it scared the crap out of me. I like this camera angle. It makes I, you feel like I'm being watched. That was the good thing in Until Dawn. Oh, hold L1. Walk faster! You can't use that at any time. Oh, have you been using it? Yeah, oh. that's what I was running into. I couldn't remember you, how to do it's it. It's like Until Dawn where you can do stuff before the tutorials pop up. Fucking small children. It's probably because you looked at the photo of your child. Or it's because I have a concussion because someone decided to punch me in the face. Over, over half a dollar. I think they all killed themselves. Yeah. Because one guy has a bullet to the head and the other has a slit throat. I don't think you know how people usually commit suicide. I meant they killed each other. Oh, I thought you meant like they killed themselves. And I was like, no, I'm... Yeah, maybe wrong choice of words. Hang back, Charlie. I'm the one with the assault rifle. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, I'm seeing Charlie in the hallway. There's a dead body. Oh, it's tasty. You're dealing with something completely different. You know what? Oh. I'm not going to shoot the box this time. But, ooh, you're, you, well, supposedly you are telling me to hide. But I'm watching, but you're dead. I just saw your dead body. Part of this, you're dead. What? But I'm, yeah, sorry, bossy. but I'm still alive. I'm talking to this small child now. Oh, there's the fortune teller, man. What? Ah, uh, child, your face is messed up. Why do you have a knife? <laughs> don't shoot, don't shoot. Oh, God! The kid has a knife! Shoot the kid! <laughs> it's a ghost kid! This didn't happen the last time I played! Ah, ah. This is different! Whoa. Why is this different? I got shot. Or those psychic powers. I just had a heart attack.
I just had this heart attack. That didn't happen the last time I played. Last time I played, I shot the box. Yeah, I saw the fortune teller man, and he had a decomposed face. And I chose not to attack him. I attacked anyway. I had a decomposing child. It was messed up. So I still... I still claim... That... One of the people on the Maid of Medan, or whatever that little boat's called... Duke of Milan. Duke of Milan. Is a relative... Of Joey. He's either the son, which wouldn't make sense, or he's the son of the son. Now for the curator's badass introduction. Do you know who this guy is? Oh, if you watch my stream, you. Yeah. I never watch such shows, though, but I know of it. If you've ever watched Preacher, he plays Hair Star. And if you've ever seen The Crown. He plays Tommy, the, uh, secretary guy. This is a baller song, though. Yeah, the lyrics are a bit similar to the lyrics in Until Dawn. Especially the introduction of the Odets bit. I think the best intro song for a scary game is still Resident Evil 7. I don't even remember what the very beginning of Resident Evil 7 was. What do you mean, like the credits? Yeah, the beginning credits where it's like... I forget the... I'm not even gonna try. I don't, I don't remember the lyrics. It's kind of similar to this, where it has a bunch of overlaid images and yep. old footage and stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I never played that game, but, you know, I saw Prepare Tries play through. My favorite part in that playthrough still is my warrior's like, All right, I'm sick of being scared, right through the door. And well, then there's a jump scare immediately on the other side. <laughs> well, that's how... That's what I had to do last night in Blair Witch. I had to be like, no. I, like, I can't just dick around in that weird sawmill town. I was so not ready to go into any of those buildings. And I was just like, no. <sighs> I just, like, amped myself up. Yeah, that game was... Oh, hi. Thank you for having me. Ew. I love Jack Repository. Lots of books. Oh. I would love to have all I always books thought, built with bookshelf walls of books. I always thought repository sounded so sexual. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, would you like to see my repository? I'm just like, ew. Just call it a vagina, you weirdo. I don't know why. It sounds very sexual to me. Maybe I secretly have a thing for librarians. Books turn you on? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, seriously, the curator is very styling. I love his hair. If I didn't have a receding hairline, that's the hairstyle I want. But look his tie is best. Old 50s is the greatest decade for fashion. Greasers, then you had like the vest tie. Oh, it was so good. I like 1940s uh, cars and fashion and hairstyles. Ah. Like 1930s and 40s, and <laughs> I watched some Down Abbey and all the fashion that was just. Oh. It is, yeah, I see this. Hey, 
it's definitely going to be appearing in the rest of the mythology, so that'll be interesting. Yeah, this game has to wow me, like, until dawn, or else I'm going to regret buying it. Even though I bought it, and the guy at Best Buy was like, Oh, hey, because you bought Man and Medan, you get a $10 gift card to Best Buy. And I was like, oh, can I use it towards the game? And he's like, no. So now I have a $10 gift card. Yeah, the rest of the games in the anthology will probably be also she doesn't care. on the shorter side. Like, I beat the single player story in five hours. This game? Yeah. Oh, that's not too Makes bad. Sense. Since these are all part of an anthology, and it would be crazy for them to make like five or eight ten hour games. I do not think we will be beating this game. No, we will be able to save and fight and continue. I won't be able to stream again until Saturday. Yeah, it's fine if we pick it back up then. Alright, you're Alex, not Brad. I am. I'm insecure. Insecure, Alex? And motivated. So do you want to be insecure, Alex, or motivated, Alex? Oh, I always just... Oh. You're witty and innocent. I mean, you're my brother. I'm not going to be a dick to you. Aw, thanks. You're my brother. You're my bro, bro. You're my bro, brah. You're deciding. Oh my god! Bro. Ah! <laughs> Place yeah. Stop being so paranoid, Brad. Ugh. Say what you need to say. Do it. Then you say yes. Do you want to go diving? Yes. Do you want to get sodomized? Yes. Do you want to go have a beer? Yes. All yes. Oh, your eyes did something weird. Yeah. I'm ignoring that comment, dick. <laughs> You'll put those in the fridge. Right, brah? And you make all the decisions. Here they are. Oh, God, that's still the worst. Hey! Oh. Hey! Hey! Maze! I did say she was excited. Ugh. Oh, 
That's awful acting. Brad is the best actor in this so far. And it's because he's so nervous he is stiff. Oh shit. We're doing two separate things. I'll be able to hear your guys' conversation in the background. I mean, I work on minutes. I need So, this guy, she gave you a good time. Yeah, of course. I think it'll be for her. Fuck you, Julia. I don't know why, but... <laughs> uh, she's also courageous. I was about to say, she's got a sick leg tat. Did you bring your ID? Can you tell me what your number is? <laughs> I'd really like to know what your driving or your boating license number is. And your hair's color. Yeah. That ID was garbage. <laughs> fake. Yeah, that was a fake ID. Okay, you're still Alex. Why does she already have another wardrobe change? Because it's later in the day. This is what she wears to the dive. Oh, you're Conrad now? Yep. What, I'm still Brad? No, you're Alex. Whatever. Any dick pics? Does the plane count? Sure. If it's a Nazi plane, they were pretty big dicks. That sounds Nazi. Do it! Dance! Yeah, but in World War II, wasn't the highest altitude possible, like, not that high up? Nerd burst! Don't worry, everyone. I'll deal with her. Shit, uh... Conrad, you... <laughs> Fuck you, Conrad! Agree with me! <laughs> you dick! <laughs> Agree with me! <laughs> uh, I'm still Alex and Blitz Girl is Conrad and she just decided to contradict me. Bro, <laughs> you agree with Alex. Oh, 
Oh shit! I didn't have to. Uh. Everyone. Why is everyone against me now? This boat sucks. <laughs> I hate this boat. The captain hates me. My brother hates me. Conrad doesn't respect me. The only one who respects me is Julia. Hey, bro. No, go away. I'm gonna go look at this. Bro. No, I'm looking at my binoculars now. <laughs> Screw you. <Bro. laughs> I can see you. <laughs> no, this is my life now. What's that? There's a beer bottle in the ocean. Hey, hey Alice. Conrad. Oh, you <laughs> dick. <laughs> Screw you. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna go mack it up with your sister now. <laughs> I can't wait to then watch your video. You completely blocked my view. <laughs> I found a bottle you threw over the side of the boat. And then you just walked in the way. Yeah, it's so, like I glitched Conrad up onto the edge of the boat by walking in front of you. That's it. Love all. That's it. Just don't focus on Alright, I'm gonna get you Where'd you go? Oh. Oh, it's time. It's time for the best part. Are you going to walk in between us? Full aim. Felsi Dubois. Diver Nubmer. Birthday. Hair's color. The instructor. Identified on the rear is authorized. Oh, man. This is a fake license. Least you could do. Is spell properly. Hey Conrad! Conrad! Hey Conrad! Hello. Hey! Hey Conrad, I wanna see something funny? Are you cock blocking me? <laughs> Watch this. Boop! See ya. I talk to your bro. You leave my brother alone! He's innocent and easily c No! Leave him alone! <laughs> oh crap, I'm looking at a picture. Hi! Is it my turn to talk now? I pressed X and now I'm stuck in this. <laughs> well, that's awkward. Sorry, Conrad. I need to talk to my bro now. Are you still standing there awkwardly? This is a family conversation, Conrad. Away with you now. I was Away with you now. I can't move. <laughs> and you look so awkward, too. Where are you going? <laughs> hmm? Where are you going? What? What? Yeah, go into the bathroom. Get, get out of here. This is my house now. <laughs> no! Stay out of here! Fine, I'll go talk to my sister. <laughs> yeah. Tell her about how I'm going to have sex with her under the water. 
but for ruining my binocular vision. I was binocular man for a minute, and you ruined it. Mmm, perfume. Or pufume. Shroud of Innocence. By T. Shartley. Why can I hear your guys' conversation? It's a small boat. It is a small boat, actually. That's a fair point. Hey, brother. Oh, God. I'm the uh, Michael Joe Buster. I'm the Buster of our family. Hey, brother. doesn't respect you! Conrad's just trying to sleep with you! You did a number on this captain! <laughs> She's like, Conrad's the only one that I like. Customs. We have... Oh, fake credentials. Oh. I, I wasn't snooping. You left it on the table out here. <laughs> what are you? No. God. Right. Conrad, you got to get out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> the way you walked away it was beautiful it looked like he was like no I'm bored now <laughs> belligerent I think it, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is the greatest way to play this game. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what, Conrad? She's all yours, man. You earned it. Oh, yeah, if you don't move her. Oh, just like an Until Dawn. Oh yeah, the super futuristic gear. Super Screw you, check my O2 for me. Oh shit, uh, always take the baton. Yes. Oh, me and Julia. I'm going to take Julia now. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Like it's showing this, yeah, because I said all I could with this. Oh, am I now stuck watching your conversation? Oh, nope. Just a weird cut to Fliss. Fun times. Yeah, she's just watching, judging. Don't touch anything. I don't like it when people touch my butt. The butt? Don't touch my butt! 
Is that a Finding Nemo truck? How old are you? Old enough to know Finding Nemo, I guess. Yeah. I have a really good slash bad Finding Nemo story. Bravo. Do you say bravo? Bravo. Oh, I was like, oh, that's a really rude response. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> I have never played this far. I'm in uncharted territories. <gasps> I'm Fliss! Uh, yeah. I am gonna bone Conrad. Go for it. Wait, aren't you Conrad? No, I'm probably gonna be Julia. She's oh. just playable during the dive part. But you were Conrad. Yeah. I should slap you. <laughs> no. I remember this. Okay, this is not uncharted territory for me. Missing out on that. Are you diving? Yep. <gasps> oh! Why am I playing the parts I've already played? Well, you'll be able to watch my video later then. It's the Duke of Milan. Maybe. What's it to you? I heard you say boop. Oh. Hi. Hi, Brad. They are not 20,000 leagues under the sea. You don't know distance. I know. I've played this part. Okay. Also, no spoilers. Come on now. I just said my... I'm gonna make Fliss Bone Brad now! Get to mess the cool octopus. Aww! Oh. Except for the pots for the wind. Aww. I'm going to get killed by pirates. Julia will get eaten by a shark. Dude, come on now. I'm going to walk around my boat. Because I'm so much in debt. I don't make any money as a captain. Blitz girl found a secret. <laughs> I don't know why I keep these pictures that tell me the future around. You found the picture. I found a picture of the future. Oh, you found a picture. No, read the... Fucking paper! I didn't read it! Older, too? I am. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Dear Miss Dubois, this letter is a formal notification that you are in default of your obligation to make regular payments on your personal loan. The loan holds... Oh, I should... If it's a loan guy, I should do a different accent. The loan holds a remainder of... No. What's a good southern accent? I do declare. 
the loan holds a remainder of $24,783, with a sum of $3,481 payable by the 1st of August 2019, year of our Lord and Savior. God, it's, it's October 22nd. This amount has been overdue since that date, and you appear to have ignored multiple requests for payments or a discussion to reconsolidate your debt. Unless the outstanding, outstanding amount is received by the 30th of August 2019, year of our Lord and Savior, we will have no choice but to begin the foreclosure process against your collateral, namely the marine vessel, the Duke of Milan. Please act accordingly. Yours sincerely, Charles Saran. Well, Charles, I don't think I gave a fuck. Come get my boat in international waters, bitch. <laughs> international waters means I can do whatever the F I want. I'm gonna go through Julia's stuff. She's got some perfume, eh? Gonna shake it up. <clears throat> now it's all carbonated. T. Shartley, Shroud of Innocence. How's the boat going? Oh, just a more eel when I first. Oh. And Alex wet his wetsuit. Feel like I'm the only one talking in this live stream. <laughs> Brad, have a good time sulking. So, Conrad. These pirates interrupted this cool line. Pirates! Shut up, Conrad. Oh, okay, bye. And we never saw them again. Oh, no, they came back. Come at me, Shark. Conrad? Conrad, don't be a dick! Especially to a man with one fucking eye. You know what? Fuck you, Sean Ashmore. Did you ever watch Animorphs? No. I remember the books being all the rage in elementary school. No one ever watched the show. I'm the only one, apparently. I, I was obsessed with those books. Conrad, are you going to blow up this boat? He blew up the fucking boat. Conrad, you fucking idiot! Conrad, I hope your eyebrows are gone. 
I'm gonna pause. Okay. I'm gonna go get more rum. What are you doing? You're taking off a vest? Yeah, it was cold earlier. A vest doesn't keep you warm. It's a down vest. It's still a vet? Like, do you take the Batman version of this? Rub your chest. Your arms will take care of themselves. Why <laughs> are you paying the ocean? Oh, shit. Oh, what a lovely... Oh, that's lovely. I tried to see if a local brewery would sponsor me for Extra Life, but one of their employees is doing it, so they're like, oh, we can't because we've already donated a bunch of money to them. But they were like, but when you come in for your... For the beer on the Friday night before Extra Life, we'll buy you a couple rounds on the house. Aww. I know, I was like, Fah, I love you guys. Hi, curator. Hi, hair star slash Tommy from the crown. Fuck you, don't shake your head. That's a terrible pun. That's also a bad pun. Everything sounds good in his accent. Oh. Oh god, fucking dust again. Thank you all so much for watching. To join my guests and I live, check out our Twitch channel, Nearly Confident. You can reach us at the social media links in these credits. And if you want to support us even more, check out our Patreon. Thank you to the fiends currently supporting us. We will see you all next time. Have a good evening.